Presenting first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing the black trunks and weighed in at an even 129 pounds. His record stands at six wins and no losses. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. From Palmdale, California, please welcome the undefeated Joel Diaz Jr. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the silver trucks with the maroon trim, weighing in at 128 and one half pounds. He is also undefeated with a record of seven wins and no losses. Three of those big wins coming by way of KO. Please welcome the pride of Sacramento, California, Guy Rob. Can you punch this below this area? Can be called low. Can you punch below this point? Be called low. With that said, I want you to obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. And the numbers for this one. Diaz admits he doesn't yet have his full man strength, but that hasn't stopped him, obviously, from knocking almost everybody out. He weighed 129 for this one. He would have been 135 if he still had earlobes. <laughs> <laughs> the rules, same uh, unified rules. No standing aid, no three knockdown. Only the ref can stop the fight. Can't be saved by the bell in any round and the accidental foul rule before end of four. If we get a stop and no decision after that, we go to the card. All right, we head into round number one of this scheduled eight rounder, our second fight of the evening. They are super featherweights. And uh, Joel Diaz Jr., as we mentioned, people compare him to Brandon Rios. He's got that aggressive, swarming style. And Guy Robb, more of a boxer puncher, but also as Steve pointed out, knocked out the, the man that didn't get knocked out by Joel Diaz. And we take a look at the amateur experience. Guy Robb, he, made it, he got, came in third in the U.S. Nationals in 08. Very impressive for only 25 fights. Joel Diaz somehow fit 95 bouts in there, even though he's only 19 years old. He was a junior Olympic star. And pro experience, well, Six fights and ten rounds for Joel Diaz. That tells you about his punching power thus far. Both pretty green guys here. Overhand right by Diaz. His left hook is his money punch. That it, he makes no bones about that. Both men trying to establish the jab. It looks like there might even be a little mouse underneath the left eye of Guy Robb. Whether that's new or something that he had in training, I don't know, but yeah, it's I developed. It, I think it's new out there. Yeah. I didn't see anything yesterday. No. Halfway through round number one, so already the right hand of Diaz making an impact. Good hook by Diaz. He is winging away, and so is Guy Rob. Rob has chosen to really exchange with him. Remains to be seen if that was the right plan. Be interesting. Diaz only has 10 rounds as a pro, and here he is fighting an eight rounder. Be interesting to see if he can't get Rob out of there and uh, has to go into deep water. A minute left to go here in round number one of this scheduled eight rounder. Joel Diaz Jr., the 19 year old, just landed a solid right hand again. You know, he's talked about his left hook so far in this fight, it's <laughs> exactly. been the right hand. That always happens. They do that to make mm -hmm. us look bad every time. Trying right? to fool us. Good body work by Guy Rob. And there's the right again by Diaz. Both men, this is a fun fight to watch because both men are wailing away. And Diaz lands a right as Rob tries to respond. Rob's punches don't flow. They're, they're strong punches, but they're kind of hammer-like blows. I saw that watching them on tape. And Diaz's punches do flow, and that's why he's such a big puncher. Ray Woods, who mentioned the trainer of Guy Rob who uh, was the original trainer of Diego Corrales, his stepdad of Diego Corrales as well. So round one comes to an end, and it was a fun affair, one that Joel Diaz Jr. had a little more fun in, probably, than Guy Robb. Cut! Look, 
And what is the, was the strategy okay. coming in for these two fighters? Well, we'll find out. We'll start with Diaz. He's coming to me very active. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay in front of him and be the more active one and try to come with more combinations than he does. I got a fan friendly style. I'm real aggressive. I plan on hurting the, the kid from from uh, head to toe. You know, I'm uh, I'm just gonna be on his arms, be on be on his head, be on his body, and um, and it should be a good show. What's well, been that uh, during the first round? Uh, it was a very entertaining first round. Probably one that Joel Diaz Jr. won, but still, Guy Rob had his moments in that. Rob in the white trunks with the red trimming and in the white and green is 19 year old joel diaz jr and let me repeat that 19 that's young that's young and you know what he's, he's pretty poised i said that in the first fight but he trains in the wild card gym and when you're training in american uh and manny packer are watching you i guess you, you get uh, poised in a hurry yeah he's very poised and that's something he took pride in at the fighters meeting he just saying that hey when all the tough guys that come in you know to the gym in my weight class freddie throws them at me uh, because he knows I can handle it. So he, he's, he's been there and done that in terms of being tested. Good action early in this round. Nice right uppercut by Rob, but Diaz comes back with a right hand. So both men standing in front of each other and really exchanging big punches here in round number two. Left hand downstairs by Diaz, and there's the left hook starting to emerge. Guy Rob, a youngster at age 17, was whose dad had been incarcerated for most of his young life was headed down the wrong path and getting with Ray Woods and getting involved in boxing really helped him. Oh my, a right hand sends Diaz down from nowhere. Four, five, He's six, seven, eight. He has Hi. to be smart. He doesn't need to try to prove anything right now. Clear his head and set everything back up and start over. Don't try to prove anything. Guy Robb lands a big right hand that stunned this crowd and certainly stunned Joel Diaz Jr. Still over a minute left to go in this round, and Diaz comes back. So round number two, an all-action affair. Wow, this is where being 19 could hurt him because he hasn't faced any adversity yet, predictably, in his career. And he's coming out shooting his own big shots now instead of uh, holding on. Both men throwing big punches on the inside. And Rob's throwing some heavy shots in there, to the body and the head. Body shot downstairs by Rob, as Andre pointed out. Big uppercut by Rob. So we have a shootout. These fighters know why they're here. <laughs> Do they ever. About a half a minute left to go here in round number two. It has been wild. Diaz, who went down early in the round, now has Rob in trouble. Big body shots by Guy Robb. So this round has been a good one. Oh, good shot. He is just looking for his own shot. You can see him in there covering up, looking for, looking for Robb to open up. Big hook by Joel Diaz and a right hand. And Robb comes back with his own hook. So round two is one to press in our memory books as a really good one. from round two did this come out of nowhere or what they're fighting on the inside and he and, and rob I, I talked about him being kind of a ponderous puncher but when diaz is in that kind of range rob's gonna land and he brought a right hand from down low clearly a punch he didn't that, that diaz didn't see watch how low this punch starts he started it with a body shot rob has been consistently punching to the body something diaz has not done so we head into the third round, an eventful second round, not only a knockdown, 
by Guy Robb of Joel Diaz Jr., but also some great back and forth action. And so Guy Robb gets himself into this fight in a big way, and a good left hook by Robb. All 26 of Robb's connects were power shots. Right hand just hurt Guy Robb. He's in trouble from the right. And a body shot. Down goes Robb. You like lots of punching and lots of action, which I know we all do. You gotta love this fight. This is 50-50. The way these fighters are positioned while they're punching, anybody can get caught and anybody can get knocked out in this situation right here. It's a really good point. They're both kind of squared up, battling on the inside, and both have shown vulnerability. Good body work by Diaz. Now, there's a long time left in this round for Rob to get through it, but Diaz showing a little respect because he was sent down in round two by Guy Rob. And remember, this is a scheduled eight-rounder. Rob, Rob looks okay. He doesn't look as bad as Diaz did when he got knocked down. More of a flash knockdown for Rob. Good shot. The hook by Guy Rob gets in another right hand. Diaz's right hand has shown a lot of power, even though the left is supposedly his best punch. This 19-year-old, who, as we said, has turned some heads at the wildcard gym, uh, and you see why from his offense, but he was sent to the canvas by Rob in round two. What's made this so exciting, and you can't wait to see what's gonna happen the rest of the way, is that they've both been within each other's range. There's the right again by Diaz. Hurts guy Rob. A minute left to go in this round. Rob has been down already once in this round. He's in trouble. Vic Dracula's looking carefully. And Rob slipped. That would be a slip, I believe. Well, they're calling it a knockdown. I didn't see a punch. I did not either. Now well, that's the second knockdown in this fight, at least officially, to make this uh, a 10-7 round. Rob needs to keep his left hand up. He keeps getting hit with those right hands. And let's see if Diaz knows to go to the body here a little bit. It would be a good time for that. Rob is battling back. Trying to land something impressive of his own. Got to respect Rob. Got to oh, respect him. Got to respect both men. Seconds left here in round number three, and they both battle toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The right hand of Diaz gets in again, and Rob with that little sneaky right hand from underneath. It looks like Guy Rob will get through this round. And then some, landing a big left hook at the bell. A right hand here almost dropped Rob. And again, we talked about it in the first fight. Joel Diaz supposed to be a left hooker. It's been the right hand all night. And now Rob sort of similar to Diaz when he was hurt. He didn't really hold, he didn't really move away, and he finally went down. There it is, that right hand, it actually lifted Rob off the ground. He took two steps backward from the force of that right hand. And now you see that there's no punch there. Dracula didn't see that apparently. Clearly, if anybody was punching before that knockdown, called knockdown anyway, it was Rob, and he's the one that went down. All right, let's go to Chuck Giampa. Chuck, this round with the two knockdowns, how would you have scored this round? I gave that round 10-7 uh, to Diaz. As far as that second knockdown, I think it was an accumulation because Diaz was throwing the punches. All right, so we head into round number four, and if indeed that was a 10-7 round, which it probably was, that would give Diaz a big edge here. That's presuming we think there's any chance of this fight going to a decision. Unlikely. Here comes Guy Rob. Big hook by Rob. I love it. You know what? If Rob can drop Diaz, it will be instantly a mini classic. Again, the hook by Rob. So Guy Rob, the 22-year-old from Sacramento, California, who is undefeated coming into this fight, as is Joel Diaz Jr., showing tremendous resilience here. Overhand right again by Diaz. A right hand by Rob. Nice straight right by Rob. So this, it, they take turns. It looks like this round, it's Rob's turn. Big Rob, body work by Rob. Rob's coming forward. Diaz has got a lot of heart for a young fighter. He's in there, he's not backing down. 